Hi, hello, and welcome to Rebel Unicorn Crafts. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to layer mountains in watercolor. This is a really simple technique, and you can use it for a lot of different paintings. The first thing you wanna do is mix up a really dark color. Doesn't really matter what color you go for, just make sure it's a really saturated dark color. The color I'm mixing up is a combination of cobalt blue, Prussian blue, quinacridone magenta, and a little bit of yellow ochre. It's going to make kind of a steely purple color. I tend to like to do steely blue and steely purple mountains in my painting, so that's what I'm going to be doing, but you should do whatever you want. Just try to match kind of the saturation and darkness level or the transparency level where you wouldn't really be able to see much of anything underneath it if I wrote something underneath this color that I'm making. Once you have the color that you want to use all mixed up, go ahead and next to the color you just mixed up in a clean open well, put some clean water and then don't wash your brush out. Use the color that's already in your brush from what you just mixed up and then mix that into that clean water. I put about two sprays from my spray bottle in. Then you can go ahead and paint your first layer of mountains. Let this dry. This is a crucial step. If you want the nice, clean, crisp lines between the mountain layers, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do this on dry layers. Now, if you want them to be a little fuzzy, go ahead and do it while it's damp. Once it's dry, you want to darken your diluted color. So it's good to have your tester strip so that you can actually check against the old color. Add another brush full of your dark pigment to your diluted color. Then paint your second layer of mountains. And again, let this dry completely. Well, I bet you've guessed it at this point, but yes, we're gonna darken that diluted color again for a third time, or second time, depending on how you look at it. Uh, you might need to do two brushfuls, but make sure it's mixed in. The other thing to think about is that your paints do settle a little bit while you're waiting for things to dry, so each time you're dipping into that dark color, remix it really well to make sure everything's incorporated. Again, on a dry layer, paint your layer of mountains again, and then, Say it with me, let it dry. This is a great practicing exercise for layering because that's really crucial for a lot of different things, but go ahead and continue doing this until your mountains either feel balanced and, how, and you like how they look or until you reach the darkest pigment that you can. So I hope this was helpful. If you've tried this, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see more testing videos where I test out different variables for fluid painting, want to see any watercolor tutorials or some other art supply testing, subscribe to my channel. Or if you just wanna see some of the art that I create, it's really varied. You can follow me either at Lacey Walker Art or at Rebel Unicorn Crafts on Instagram or Rebel Unicorn Crafts on TikTok where I make some, some funny videos as well as some tool talk videos and I hope that you have a magically creative day.